What's up, trading friends? Welcome back to another video. I'm Sam from Top Trading Team, guys. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing BVIG and where do I see BVIG heading from here on out. So with that being said, hit the thumbs up button because it's going to be an informative video on BVIG's technical analysis. We're also going to be going over the Ortex short interest data. Also, we're going to be covering the latest filings when it comes to BVIG and what they mean for the company's future. So with that being said, hit the thumbs up button. And now let's just jump right into it. If my mouse decides working. Okay, there we go. It's working now. Okay. We'll go three, two, one, and action. Beautiful. So here we have the BVIG chart, guys. And as you guys can see, this is a stock right now that is up around 400% at the time of recording this video, right? Not a long time ago, about a week ago or so, this stock was seen at a price of a dollar per share. And since then, it has skyrocketed to the $5 per share territory, okay? That is a massive move. That is a 5X, aka a 400% increase in price from BBIG just in a single week. But in order to anticipate where the stock is heading next, we first need to understand what has caused it to get to where it is where it is right now, right? And I think a lot of this had to do with this recent filing that we got from the NASDAQ, right? When we go over here, right? We see that this NASDAQ filing, let's go to BAM SEC, right? The most recent uh, filing that we've received from, from Vinco Ventures was this notice of delisting from NASDAQ, right? Which is massive, guys, right? This is massive for the company, right? I mean, if BBIG ends up getting delisted from NASDAQ, which is something that they've avoided previously, by having a reverse split, well, what's going to happen to the stock is that the stock price is going to significantly fall. Now, how could that be a positive thing if they receive this letter? Well, basically, the letter states that, you know, they have until July 21st to reply or they're going to get delisted. So what does this mean, right? It says panel writing in later, no letter than July 21st, 2023, right? So with that being said, Considering that they haven't been delisted from NASDAQ, this leads to a lot of people believing that they have actually sent in a letter to NASDAQ fulfilling the requirements that would keep them uplisted in the NASDAQ indice, okay? With that being said, what does that do? Well, that causes a lot of euphoria, right? That causes people to go, yay, we're not getting delisted and no bad news, avoidance of bad news equals good news, okay? And that's what we're getting over here now. Another reason that this stock is running is that this is a momentum stock, right? Meaning that once it gets going, guys, there's no holding it back, right? I've previously made multiple videos on these stocks, such as BBIG, BBIG included. Now, I can't lie. We let go of BBIG at prices of pre-split. Let me, if I can go to the pre-split, uh, we'll go to actual. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, not actual. We'll go to cumulative. Right, we let go of BBIG at about a price of one dollar per share. Right, I think it was a dollar twenty. It was once it broke below this level of support where we ended up selling it because I could see it coming down to the you know to the to the penny section and then to the penny section of the market and then of course having a reverse split and that's exactly what we got over here. Right, if you look, if you think you know we sold around here the bottom side of these candles, I mean. That was an amazing trade we took, right? Because we avoided all of this loss over here. Now, guys, if you're someone who's been holding from these prices and you're in right now at about $37, $0.37 cents per share pre-split, right? I mean, that's that's horrible, right? That means that you guys don't have the proper risk assessment set up. That means that you guys don't have the proper, you know, stop losses put in place. And look, I know I said that sounds horrible, but that's just part of trading, right? What is horrible is you not taking steps and not learning from the mistake that you've ended up in BBIG. Okay. You not learning from that, from that, um, from that loss, right? Whatever it may be, right? Even if you bought at freaking, you know, 60 cents and now you're down to 37 cents, right? Actual price, right? Pre-split adjusted everything like that, right? Well, you're losing, you've lost money, but what has caused you to lose this money, right? Because look, I've been trading for over six years, guys. And look, I'm nowhere near a amazing 10 out of 10 trader yet. Now, am I full-time day trading? Yes. Do I make a lot of money day trading? Yes. Do I have a community with over a hundred people, you know, copy my trades basically every week and every day? Yeah, I do, right? But at the same time, I'm still also learning and I'm also acquiring new lessons every single day when it comes to trading because I understand that trading is a 10-year plan, right? It is a 10-year game. It is a marathon, not a sprint, just like anything else in life, right? So when I'm thinking that, okay, I took a loss today, I took a loss today, I took a loss today, I'm not really looking at it from a loss perspective. I'm looking at it more from a lessons perspective. What lessons did I learn today? Okay, I learned that the double top is one of the worst things that could happen to a stock in the current markets that we're in. Okay, I learned to not short a stock that still has a increasing levels of volume. 
okay, I learned this, I learned that, right? These are all lessons that, you know, when you put them together, you are just undefeated. You become an undefeated trader. Now, if you guys want access to all the lessons that I've learned previously, check out the Discord, guys, okay? Because this is a Discord where I post all my trading lessons. I post also all my alerts, whether it's option alerts or stock market trade alerts, right? All in one place. And right now, the next 10 people that join, access it for a 50% discount. Now, that, that discount is only for the next 10 people that join, but listen, even if you try to join and those 10 spots are done, right? I still highly suggest checking it out and paying the full price because listen, we have over a hundred members and majority of them are coming back and paying full price month after month. Why are they paying full price? Why are they finding value in the community? It's there, okay? It's there. I mean, people don't just pay for something that is not going to make, make your money. And when we go to the market one section, we see that, right? Just over here, off of DWAC, right? My boy Kool-Aid, man, right? Brought in 88% gains, right? Over here, you know, $9,000 gains off of a single trade in our community on GFA. Over here, Florida says, new account, new day, new win. This is literally seven, this is like three days ago, four days ago, okay? And we've been making a kill, 27% on a single day. Over here, Trading Avalanche says, um, GFAI, shout out to Top Trader Squad. Top Trader Team, Top Trader Squad, same thing, right? It's 20% uh, gains, about $1,500. Over here, a couple of week, uh, a week before that, right? 60% gains for Hershan R, right? Samuel Samuel says, thank you so much, Samuel, on track of having for my first profitable trading year. Thanks to you and the team, right? $1,000, $1,017 in a single week over here. Zen Master says, trip to Vegas cover, $4,600. Let's hope he doesn't gamble all the money away. And the list just goes on and on and on, okay? So if you catch yourself wondering, oh, why would I pay a monthly subscription? I don't want to I don't want to add another bill to my bills. Guys, this isn't your typical bill. When was the last time your Netflix bill brought you 654 bucks? When was the last time your Spotify bill brought you $546, right? Or $144 or $810, right? And the list just goes on and on and on, okay? So don't think of this as another bill. Think of this as a direct investment into your trading and into your future as a trader. So with that being said, head down below, guys. It also gives you a one-on-one -on -one meeting access with me. So let's get talking about it there. Now, let's get talk, go, let's go back to this and let's get talking about the, the technicals in the stock, right? Let's I would go to the adjusted. Okay, let's go to the adjusted. Now, when you go to the adjusted on the five minute chart, you see that this is a stock which double topped at these levels over here, okay? At a price of about five dollars and eighty cents. And for that reason, Personally, I'm not touching the stock unless it breaks above $6. If we get a bid of $6.10 on the level two, I'm jumping in and I'm buying this stock, okay? Because to me, that shows that the $6 level is broken and this double top has been defeated, okay? Because if it rejects the price again at this level, we're screwed, we're done for, it's over. And another thing that you need to understand as well is that there has been no press releases for BBIG, aka the sentiment is fleeing, okay? What do you mean by that? That means that this momentum that we're getting is all volume based and we know what happens to volume. It's here today, gone tomorrow, right? And you don't wanna be buying your stock just based off of the, just based off of its volume, okay? So with that being said, we have volume pouring in right now, but is the volume gonna be here next week? Is the volume gonna be here the week after? Is the volume gonna be here the week after that? No. So if the only thing that the stock is going up based off of is volume, and we know that the volume isn't going to be here next week, where do we think the stock's price is going to be? And for that reason, I'm staying away from BBIG unless at least it breaks above the $6 levels. If it doesn't break above $6, it doesn't break above $6, and it is what it is, okay? So with that being said, my friends, let's head over into the, let's head over to the, what do you call it? The short interest of BBIG on Ortex. Let's see what BBIG has up for us over here. Also, guys, before I continue, quick little reminder that we do have a, uh, where's BBIG, bro? There, BBIG, right? We do have an exclusive promotion with Mumu right now, where if you take five minutes of your time and deposit $1, literally $1, Mumu will give you guys two free stocks. The first free stock they give you is usually garbage, but then the second stock where you deposit any amount of money, literally $1 is a lot better. We've had people win $100 stocks, $200 stocks, $1,000 stocks previously, okay? We had a lady from Singapore win a $1,000 stock, by depositing some change into her Mumu account and she got a Tesla stock pre-split, which she then sold and took her money out. You don't believe me? I'll show you because I have this screenshot saved. It's like a trophy for me, okay? It made me really happy seeing her win this. It says, congratulations, you got a Tesla stock, 1,307 SGD. What's 1,307 SGD to USD? That is $998, okay? $998 made off of depositing like, I think back then you had to deposit $10 to get a free stock. Now you deposit a dollar, they give you that free stock. So try your luck. You're probably not going to win a thousand dollar stock. I can't lie. This is extremely rare. I have never seen anyone else send me a screenshot. I've had people in Discord send me, you know, hundred dollar stocks, fifty dollar stocks, eighty dollar stocks, which is still really good based off of the fact that you're taking five minutes to make an account. 
but nothing like a thousand dollars. But listen, you could be the next person that wins a thousand dollars. Who the hell knows, right? Try your luck. The link is in the comment section description for Mumu. Make an account, deposit a dollar, see what stock they give you, sell the stock, take your money out, join the Discord. Bam, your whole trading career is now changed. Okay. Anyways, let's get talking about the short interest of um Thinko Ventures. Well, come up then. Well, what is happening over here? BBIG. Oh, 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 wrong BBIG. Great. BBIG Nasdaq Winko Ventures. Okay, so BBIG shows that it has an interest of a short interest of about 18%. Once again, guys, this interest this interest isn't accurate at all, right? It doesn't account for naked shorts, doesn't account for synthetic shares, doesn't account for dark pool volume, doesn't really account for majority of what short interest in a stock is really even made up of in today's you know markets. So I look at this as just tip of the iceberg and I would triple it in order to actually get to the realistic short interest of the stock. Allegedly. Once again, none of this is financial advice, none of this is you know legal advice these are just tricks that i've realized right that that makes sense and i'll show you guys what i mean from now what i do like to use this number as is going to be a benchmark to see how the short interest has actually changed in the previous couple of weeks so in the past week it's up 10 percent. interesting past two weeks up five percent in the past month it is up 30 percent in the past month the short interest is up 30 percent. so the shorts are piling on okay so the shorts are piling on and we do potentially have a squeeze potential on our hand when it comes to bbig because once again it is a stock that has previously squeezed as well now going back to why i don't care about this 18 percent and why i think it's fake and why i say triple it let's go to a stock like amc you guys know amc right mother of all short squeezes oh my god amc i also believe in the short squeeze so let's talk about amc over here guys amc the mother of all short squeezes has a visible short interest of 28 percent. 28 percent mother of all short squeezes moas 28 percent okay so this number is not accurate at all is what i'm trying to tell you okay and anyone who tells you is accurate they don't know shit about fuck okay quote ruth from ozarks right they don't know shit about fuck okay but that being said my friends thank you for watching you have this in trading i wish you guys the best of luck in bbg and all your other trading adventures and also look forward to talking to you on the discord thank you for watching you have this in trading eat sleep trade repeat your boy sample talk to you